This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. Welcome back to Sports Blitz Live, everybody, and it is with great pleasure I welcome in the head coach of the Indian Springs soccer team, Coach Rick Tozy, who just won a state championship. Coach, how's it feel? Uh, it feels great, Mr. Robson. Thank you for having me. Uh, I know we talked a little bit off air about it, but I'm an Indian Springs alum, so whenever we uh, have an accomplishment like this, then I'm always thrilled about it. I've seen a lot of accomplishments uh, in the world of academics or in the business world. Um, it's a little bit tougher for Indian Springs sometimes on the athletic side, but you know what? If Indian Springs is associated with anything athletically, it's soccer. Yeah, I, you know, and that's all due to Coach Woodard, which is being a love you know. He really was the father of soccer in Alabama. Uh, started it when he would go around and literally sleep in his car at night and give free clinics all over the state. So, you know, we won a sanctioned title in 08. We've been to the Final Four uh, eight times in 12 years, and we won it again this year. And really anything we do is, no joke, is to honor Coach Blitter. Well, Coach, the MVP was Reeves Duggan. Um, he scored both goals for you. Talk a little bit about him and what his plans are for next year. Well, Reeves is really a legacy. His older brother, Ivy Dugan, uh, was one of my captains as well, uh, who went on to play at Birmingham Southern. Reeves is a kid, kind of like you were talking about. When you look at him, you don't first think athlete. He's a little slight, uh, but he's spry, has a motor that will never quit, got a great left boot. He has been admitted to Washington Lee at University where he will play next year. Um, any coach would be proud to build a side around Reeves 1A to 6A. Uh, if you ask, you know, as you know, if we play a schedule that's usually viewed as the most difficult in the state. We play a number of 6A teams, whether it be Hoover or Pelham or whomever. And every coach we played this year, we were 24-2, walked off the pitch saying, who is that kid? He's phenomenal. Uh, he led our team in scoring, playing a center midfielder. He was actually awarded the Golden Boot by the Metro League, which is all the coaches around the classification, as the best scorer in Birmingham, which tells you a little bit about his ability. Well, Coach, for those who don't know, uh, Indian Springs is a very different school. It's a boarding school. I lived there for four years. It's right along Highway 119, which has changed a lot since I graduated in 1991. But it's still a very tight-knit community. Indian Springs is a is a different kind of high school, and I know that everybody's going crazy on campus. Talk about that. Well, I mean, you're exactly right. It's funny, Luke. When they called me to see if I was interested in coaching out there, yeah, this, was, this is my tw- completed my 12th year, I actually didn't even know where it was. I was not raised in Birmingham. I'm a lawyer, as you know. Uh, and I now can't imagine not being involved in what truly is a community from the headmaster, Gareth Vaughn, to the AD, Greg Van Horn, who you know, who, by the way, speaks very highly of you. Um, they support their student athletes or their student drama team students or their choir students in every way. You know, our, our uh, motto is learning through living, and I've often thought it should be excellence in all things. Um, just give you an example. We had something like 15 to 20 faculty members at the Final Four both at the semi and the championship game. I had a number of parents from players who have played for me throughout this 12 years take off work on Friday and come to the game even though their student athlete had graduated five, six years ago. And we had close to, I believe, 80 to 100 people uh, in support of us, just students and faculty, uh, in the championship game. That didn't sound like a lot. Until you realize the whole school is 252 kids. That's exactly and when you get that percentage of support, plus faculty, faculty spouses, graduates coming back, it just gives you some sense of what a tight knit family it really is. Yeah, I remember that number, uh, how many, how few students Indian Springs has, and that was one of the things that made it so special. I believe I graduated 42nd out of 49. That's always kind of stuck out to me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Co- Coach, um, When I was there, I had the pleasure of being around uh, Coach Ray Woodard, and and you mentioned him earlier. He is the father of soccer in the 
state of Alabama, but he's really known nationwide. He was such an inspirational figure, and I know Indian Springs really misses him, but I'm so glad to see you're carrying on the championship legacy. Well, I appreciate that. You know, championships are important, but, you know, I think every time you put on the Indian Springs strip or kit, you realize you're representing the school and what it stands for, and in my mind, Coach Woodard, I mean, you never want to do anything that falls below the standards he set because you really carry on his legacy, you know, as a team and his institution. And I can tell you, the year Ray Coach Woodard died, which I believe was two or three years ago, uh, the team voted. Just, it was not coach-driven, and they, they wore an RW on their sleeves all year long. And this was from a generation of young men that really only knew of them because, unfortunately, Coach Woodard had a stroke some years before. So that just tells you a little bit about the legacy and the effect he's had on generations even today. And, Coach, one final question. How many state championships does this make for Indian Springs? It's it's a little difficult to find that out because I know the AHSA hadn't exactly um, measured them in the same way that they have football and basketball, let's say. Right. Well, you know, it's a little bit like talking to an Alabama fan about their championships depending on whether you're an Alabama fan or an Auburn fan, right? right. Um, we have won two that are sanctioned by the association. That's in 2008 and then this year. Prior to it being sanctioned as a high school varsity sport, uh, Indian Springs won a number of them through the state tournament that was organized by Coach Woodard. Uh, and that, that number would go anywhere from seven to nine, depending upon who you spoke to. Well, Coach, thanks so much for being with us, and do me a favor and tell uh, Coach Van Horn I said hello. He's still probably the most fun coach I ever had. He's saw him recently in Birmingham. He's a super nice guy, and uh, please do tell him I said hello. I will. I, I, look, there, John, he speaks very highly of you. He gives you a little more credit for your athletic exploits than you're telling the audience. Uh, let's, let's not go crazy. <laughs> well, Coach, hey, congratulations, and congratulations to everybody at Indian Springs. I'm really fired up for you guys, and uh, hopefully you can do it again next year. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me.